Hey, what's up? This is Tony coming at you guys from Glossy Online. And as you can see, sitting right here before your eyes is my brand new, beautiful, custom built XD84 platform uh, mechanical keyboard here. Um, now, I just built this thing last week. It's my first ever build. I do have some footage that I might be sharing with you guys about it. Um, but anyway, the first thing that I wanted to get back to you guys, because I had a lot of confusion when I was trying to figure out how to get my own custom layout on this device, right? Now, I'm just your average American guy. I don't know any other languages. Um, and a lot of the information that you can find out here, um, specifically around this brand, KP Republic, it's all in Chinese or, or Mandarin or something that, you know, my brain doesn't comprehend, honestly. I know you can Google Translate things, but it's still not as easy or clear. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make a really simple, simple, straightforward guide to help everybody out there who have who is having trouble flashing their XD84 to get their own custom key map. Um, you're going to learn how to do that today. So stay tuned. Thanks for coming, guys. If you are interested in gaming videos, gaming footage, I do go live on Twitch, playing some video games. We like to get loose, kick back, uh, hang out with the jabronis and um, go ahead and check the link in the description down below if you want to see some gaming action as well. Alrighty, so there is a few things that you're going to need. The first thing that we need to note about this specific PCB board, the XD84, is that the reset switch, the way that you put this keyboard into manual reset mode, unlike other keyboard PCBs out there that I've seen that have a physical little button or a little switch or something like that, or even actually I've seen them where when you boot them on, you can hold like a combination of keys, for example, shift and I mean, uh, space bar and B I've seen puts the keyboard into reset mode. This keyboard has what's called a read switch. It's a switch that's activated by a simple magnet, okay? So that brings us to the first thing you need. You need to get yourself a magnet that's strong enough to trip the switch. However, I want to warn you due to my ignorance, I'm not exactly sure what will happen if you use a magnet that's too strong, right? Maybe nothing, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to preface that with you guys, right? Be careful. These are expensive devices we're working with here, right? Um, so the first one I have here, these are simple literal kitchen magnets that I used. So, you know, that goes to show it doesn't really take a super magnet to do this. However, this flat type of uh, magnet right here that, you know, you guys probably have some hanging around your kitchen. This is one that didn't work for me. It was not strong enough in whatever capacity that it needs to be to trip that switch. So I had this magnet on this chip holder right here as a backup and this is probably a little bit thicker and you can see I didn't even take it out of housing maybe I should do that um, but this worked perfectly for me okay now again just be careful with your magnets do some do some homework if you're not um, exactly sure I just know that I wasn't really afraid of using these so I kind of just tried them and they in this one works um, the small guy didn't but do your homework on that one and um, figure out what kind of magnet that's going to work for you. Again, if you have one looking like this, it'll probably do the job. Now there is two other pieces of basically software that you're going to need to get. Um, one of them is a website called QMK Configurator. It's a, a web-based tool application and I will include a link down below for you. Um, I'm not going to go into showing you guys how to make your own layout here. That's not really what this video is about. However, um, at this current moment, I probably will make a video myself as well. However, I learned from Mech Merlin's video. I will literally put a link to Mech Merlin's video down below. If I do end up making my own, I'll put my link right next to his. Um, but he has a fantastic video about learning how to use this software. And it is relatively simple, right? I mean, you pretty much you can just drag and drop stuff. Um, you know, pick your layout, whatever. But the most important thing you need to get from here is you generate a JSON. Okay, now this is not what you're going to flash to your keyboard. This is basically like a physical image of your keyboard that you can edit, right? So I have my JSON, and um, if I ever want to make changes, I can import the JSON file into here, and that will boom, pull right up the configuration that I was just working with, and you can save it to a JSON as well. What you need is a hex file. So after you've configured whatever you need to configure, there's a compile button right up here on the right hand side. You click the compile button, download that uh, file, it will be a .hex file, and that's what we need to flash to your keyboard. So QMK Configurator, if you're uh, confused how to use it, check a potential f uh, future video of mine out. If not, always go to Mac Merlin's YouTube page, the guy's got incredible content, so go ahead and check that out. 
So the next thing you need is an actual piece of software that's going to allow you, allow you to load that hex file onto your PCB. Um, the software that I've been taught to use, again, by Mac Merlin, is called QMK Toolbox. Okay, so you can get that right here on GitHub. There's an official GitHub um, specifically for this application. You come on down here, there's a whole bunch of things you can download. I just went ahead and downloaded this simple file right here, the QMK Toolbox. And um, that's what that's what works for me. Again, Mac Merlin actually has an advanced guide on this. I will touch on it a little bit here in this video, but again, I'm straight up gonna post this video down in the comments below in case you guys are uh, confused about it, okay? So let's move on to the actual procedure. What you're gonna need to do is grab your, your hex file that you got off of this QMK configurator. And just real quick, because I didn't go over it, I just wanna show you guys the layout I'm going with. I went ahead and put the page up keys right down here at the bottom. Um, I like them right next to each other. I notice on a lot of different layers, they're kind of two keys apart, and I just, I don't understand that. I mean, that, that's the home and the end key, rather. Um, I don't understand that. So I put those right next to each other as well, right above. Um, I left the delete right here. Now, what I really like, on my function layer one, I've got my multi, oh, we got a kitty cat. Hang on. If my, uh, if my little guy here wants to let me do this, we've got um, on our first function layer here up at the top right, these are all multimedia keys, right? We have next, previous, and play. Um, and then I also like my volume controls as well. So you know, I'll be over here working, listening to music. If I get a call or something, boom, I can just slap FN, F10, and um, that will mute all my system volume. So once you have the actual layout that you want, all you need to do is go ahead and open up your QMK toolbox here. To load boom and then you need to open up the local file basically it's just your your hex file you need to open navigate to where your dot hex file is and then click open okay so now this is where things get really tricky with this specific board okay because we need to be activating that um the read switch at the same time we basically need to be activating it in a very specific way so now I can show you guys kind of what it looks like when it actually is tripped because when you have your magnet on the read switch, your system will not recognize it as a device. So when I plug this in here, you just, you just heard my system recognize the device. Now look at what happens here. When I take the read switch and I apply this magnet to it, You can see my system and look at what just happened right there device connected amtel corporation that's exactly what you need to see now what you do is hit the flash button it's gonna attempt to flash please don't remove device you're gonna get a whole bunch of different um messages here dfu programmer erasing flash success it has to clear it first then it programs on the new flash exactly from the file that you um, took here. It will tell you success and it's to disconnect it again. So after you've get this message here, what you need to simply do to get the new, the new layout um, as your current layout, disconnect the cable, reconnect the cable. Now test your device or functionality and everything should be working properly. Now, again, I do just want to say, it took me a long time and maybe it's because this magnet was awkward maybe it was because i just didn't understand the process fully um but i was successfully disconnecting i mean i'm sorry i was successfully activating that read switch however it was not allowing me to flash it in the qmk toolbox i wish i had footage of that so i could i, I haven't been able to replicate it here it's just been working solidly um, however if you guys are experiencing issues where it's just the, the program itself is not allowing you to flash it because i think the error message i was getting no device detected um no no um dfu device detected i guess um you guys need to just be patient just keep trying just literally watch back what i just showed you how to do if it does give you is issues stay calm stay cool you don't need to break your pc board break your pcb or anything this took me a few times to get for some reason it was just not clicking with me right away um, however it did end up working so again the last step disconnect reconnect and then you guys are going to be typing away 
right it's really um, as simple as that all right so I hope you guys enjoy your first builds here if they are your first or if you just want to pick one of these babies up a 75% layout I will say I highly recommend the keyboard um, this will be my first video about it if you guys like the board you guys want to know more about this board go ahead and ask me I'll make tons of videos about this keyboard um, I will say man as my first keyboard it's not my first mechanical keyboard right but my first custom mechanical keyboard that I built this thing has actually blown me away okay i really you know i made a post on reddit basically just um like explaining the feelings that this thing has given me and it's it's literally way better than i have ever expected and i was hyped about this and this thing blew my expectations out of the water i'm so excited to get into some more builds for you guys and for myself as well the feeling that you get when you complete something like this and just you know looking at this when when you show this to people and, and you see their reactions it's just amazing man this thing has already brought me so much joy and has absolutely been worth it and and i really can't wait to build some more keyboards and you know kind of share that uh share that journey here with you guys so again the the main purpose of this video here today i just wanted to help even one person out there who's struggling with this specific pcb um because like i said i know that i i had troubles Get is the getting this thing to flash right away i hope i could actually clear that up for you and if i did let me know that will make me super pumped and that will even if it's one person that will make this video a success so thank you guys so much for tuning in again um i do like to kick back at, at, at you know after work's over i'm gonna be streaming later tonight it is sunday it's one of my main stream days that i'm just gonna be kicking back playing maybe some league of legends i'm doing a run through on on legendary halo 3 campaign you guys want some nostalgia come swing by and play on fallout 4 as well um, among many other games so if you guys are interested in some gaming content boom swing by the stream come say what's up to the jabronis have a good time um, but anyway guys this is tony from glossy online i'm going to be signing off here hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you i hope it helped you out peace out guys